guess if I want a decent relationship, I'll have to stay home at some point. I don't know. I don't know. After 20 years of bad relationships, I'm starting to think I might be part of the problem. <laughs> nah. That's just a therapy talking. My ex told me I had intimacy issues, as if that's any of her business. <laughs> tough, I'm starting to date, as I get older, I have to date people who already had kids, which is a little, that's a tough one. You can't rush that. You can't meet those kids too early. You know, I had this woman, it was like two dates, and she already said, hey, she had two little boys, and she went, I'm gonna take the kids to the carnival this weekend. You wanna go? I was like, wow. No. <laughs> Sounds awful. I mean, I'm not anti-kid, but you know, who am I to these kids? I'm just some guy. They don't know me. I can't discipline them if they're acting up at the carnival. They get down from there, you're gonna get hurt. You're not my dad. You know what, you're right. <laughs> Go ahead, stand up in the tilt-a-whirl. I wanna see how this goes. <laughs> kinda curious myself to see how this is gonna play out. Dated all types, went out with a vegan, and uh, that was once, I think. <laughs> couldn't figure out what they could eat or not. I couldn't. As far as I could tell, a vegan could have like chickpeas and cotton. That was it. <laughs> could have some hummus and wash it down with a tube sock or something. <laughs> all my friends have kids, and you feel left out at parties. You know, when they're always, everybody's got their phones out showing photos of their kids, you know. So if you feel left out at those points, just uh, do what I do and just show them photos of single person stuff that they can't do anymore. <laughs> and just go, ooh, look, this is me sleeping in on the weekend. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, this is me in my white carpet. Yeah. Like, ooh, this is my favorite one. This is me uh, leaving a bad relationship and still keeping my house. <laughs> Sweet equity, it grows so fast. <laughs> Key is to find someone with the same sense of humor as you. That's an important thing. And um, humor is an effective way to get yourselves out of uncomfortable situations. Case in point, this is a true story. And uh, there's times to use humor, when not to, and when you can, like say, airport security, bad time. <laughs> and meeting a date's parents for the first time, another bad time. Hence this story. <laughs> I went to this woman's house to pick her up. It's our first date, and she had just gotten a uh, divorce and had to move back in with her parents, which happens, I don't care, whatever. But uh, she's running late, and I meet her parents, and I have to sit in the living room with her parents watching TV, you know, like prom night. It's just really awkward and, you know, they were nice enough, but weird. And they're watching TV. There's a TV in the room, there's a movie on, and this is a romantic movie. A very romantic movie. And this uncomfortable scene comes up with two men. Yes, and it's very tense and weird in the room. Kind of like now. And I'm sitting there and no one knows what to say. It's just it's a weird vibe and it's just tense and weird. And I just thought to myself, what better time for a joke? <laughs> they didn't see it that way. Because <laughs> it's very weird, tense and awkward in the room. And these guys are on the TV and I just go, wow, that, uh, <laughs> that takes me back. <laughs> Not a good idea. Folks, you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vin Angel. Thank you, everyone. Look at that.